How's it going folks? Uh, welcome back on this windy day. So my friend brought over his 2012 uh, Mercedes S-Class. This is new to him obviously. This is a S550, uh, not AMG trim, but this has all the bells and whistles of the F5, S550. Uh, I haven't driven it. I just got to see it. He just got here. Amazing. I just sat on the back seat. So it feels like a couch. Literally feels like a, a, how, a couch from your house, like a leather couches. Super comfortable. Um, yeah, it has those really cool tints as well. Like everyone really likes, like the reflective tints. I think these came from the factory. But yeah, other than that, um, we're going to go for a drive shortly. So I just wanted to talk about the S550, obviously. This, uh, this is one of the three trim levels i'm sure for the s class uh, i think they have the s63 amg s50 something amg and this one obviously so this car engine wise has the 4.6 liter by tur turbo uh, motor i think it makes around 400 and change horsepower and 500 and change pounds feet of torque other than that um yeah, let's take a look. Take a look inside the vehicle. I mean, let's take a look in the back seats mainly. All right, so right now I'm inside the cabin, uh, the back seats, obviously. Uh, in terms of features for the back seat passengers, we have a huge sunroof. We got a mirror that comes down from over here with some illumination as well. Yep, there is that. And then coming further down, we have our charging port it's right over there. We got a cubby hole right over there. We got some uh, cup holders, more storage spots, and there's one more storage spot right over there. In terms of the seats, the seats are super comfortable. Uh, it feels like one of those um, really comfortable leather armchairs that you have at home and yeah <laughs> in terms of other features they have you have shades for your a side mirror uh, side window you also have shades for your rear window as well and again you have heated back seats rear seats um, so i just wanted to go over some of the features in the exterior uh, again this is a formatic meaning this is an all-wheel drive in terms of the wheel package for this car this is a 19 inch wheel uh, wrapped in some new rubber Obviously it comes with some big brakes. We got the four pistons for the front and the dual pistons for the back. Another cool thing that I really like is this Mercedes logo in the front. This Mercedes logo in the front is a signature with the stand. And um, yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty cool. As you can see, the paint is in immaculate condition. You can see my car's reflection on the paint. It's, that's how nice it is. So yeah, let's go for a drive. Let's see how, how it drives in general. I, I, I'm sure I'm not gonna be disappointed. All right, so we're finally inside the cabin for the S-Class. Let's go, let's start it up. Let's take a look, see what uh, comes on. So, I don't know if you guys can see the um, entire dashboard. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is a full auto, I mean, full display, but this looks like a full display. Uh, I just also wanted to make a note, like, let me press the gas. Let me, let me, let me accelerate. L look at the tachometer. I don't know if you can hear, like, you know, this, this sounds beefy. This sounds like a full on, what do you call it? Like a um, V8. Uh, other than that, this car has obviously your full luxury features like your uh, air suspension that goes up and down obviously uh, sports uh, dampeners to make the car like you know ride uh, softer and harder and whatnot and, and another feature that we can I mean I didn't know about this car you can tilt the um, display to make it tilt uh, towards the passenger seat or towards the driver cool features other than that you have your he uh, heated seats you have your cool seats uh, I'm not sure if this car has your massage seats. Apparently, it does have your massage. Seat. We'll we'll try that out one, one once we're uh, once we're back. And all your features for your seat control are heated. I mean, uh, over here. 
so you can raise and lower your headdress. Uh, same features go for your passenger. You can uh, um, raise and lower your headdress. You can do your backrest over here. You can do your bottom piece over here as well. And again, um, I haven't been in too many Mercedes. So again, all this is pretty new to me. And the thing that's amazing me is as I drive this car, right? Like this car is um, comfort level is, is unmatched. I haven't driven in a car that feels so isolated from the road bounces and the shocks and stuff like that, right? I'm gonna, I think the dampeners are on sport right now. Let me turn off the sport dampener. Let me just go on pure luxury. Again, this car is not meant to be one of those sports cars or any like, you know, anything of that of that material. You're supposed to have another car if you're really into a sports car. This is this is one of those is just, you know, you're just going to be going to work <laughs> in pure luxury. Usually someone drives you in these, but like, you know, who not everyone has the capacity to have a chauffeur and stuff like that. We'll do a quick um pull over here oh this is moving holy this is this moves <laughs> and the best part is you don't even you can't even tell how fast this car is moving when it's moving <laughs> this is amazing all right so another uh, I want to talk about the safety features for this car this has the forward collision mitigation so that means if a car in front of you is you're approaching a car too quick the car itself is, is going to break for itself to save you and your passengers from uh, getting into a collision. Um, another feature that's really helpful this car has is the blind spot uh, monitor. So obviously you can see right now uh, the orange triangle means like someone's in your blind spot, don't merge and whatnot. Again, right now we're going over some really decent bumpy terrain uh, road it has a lot of patchwork on him and this car is just soaking it up like a champ let's switch back to the wow that was uh that was the blind spot if uh, if, you, if you guys heard that let's move into this thing. also i wanted to mention uh this car does have adaptive cruise uh, has your um, what you call it, the automatic lights and whatnot, which is pretty standard for all cars. Again, ten years ago, ten years ago, this all this stuff wasn't as standard, right? So it's pretty cool having all these features in this car, right? Gonna take a turn over here. And again, when when you look down the when you look down the hood, you see that. A Mercedes logo printed on, stamped on your um, coming up on your hood it looks very executive it looks very presidential so yeah I mean this this car does make you feel pretty big I'm just gonna do like a quick pull see how quickly this car moves Ooh. yeah that, that was <laughs> that was moving that, that little pull was like zero to a hundred <laughs> within a couple of seconds. I mean, I guess it's, it's not gonna be a couple of seconds, but I mean, it does, for a 5,000 pound, 5,000 and change pound um, uh, heavy car, it was, it, it kind of does a pretty good job of uh, managing, managing its weight. Again, uh, this car isn't about the pulls. This car is about the comfort and stuff like that. But again, I just wanted to try, you know, see like, you know, obviously we like quick cars, fast cars and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's, but again, I just wanted to talk about the comfort. I, I keep going back to the comfort of this vehicle. This is like, you're just sitting on a couch at home and this car is just gliding through the roads, right? Going over like I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Going over bumps, it's it's not like it's not bumpy. It's not like causing any 
have it on the steering wheel or the oh uh i wanted to show you guys this is this is the keypad for the for the um for your phone and whatnot so yeah pretty cool experience pretty cool we have you know, we have the cd player an sd card player over here This car has traveled about 160 kilometers, like 6,000 kilometers, which roughly translates to about 100,000 miles. Um, for that, this car feels like there is no wear and tear in terms of um, how it drives. It feels like this is how it would, it, it would drive from the factory. Just comfortable, just nice, clean. Uh, no, no creaks, no, uh, no like unusual sounds when you go over bumps and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this was a well taken care of vehicle. All right, so I also wanted to talk about the massage seats and the dynamic seats. As this massage wasn't enough, this car also has dynamic seats. Let me just go over what dynamic seats are. Dynamic seats are pretty much when you once you when, when you turn, the seats are gonna hug you from the opposite uh, side. So the bolstering on your on your uh, on your bottom and the bolstering on your back is gonna basically tighten up. It's gonna push you towards the side you're turning into pretty cool features i mean i haven't felt uh stuff like this in a minute in a car so yeah it just kind of feels like different it's not i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say weird but it just feels different being massaged while you're driving like you know my <laughs> just feels like you know something's going down my back it's uh it's not it's not like you know it, it's not distracting it doesn't feel bad it's just like you know oh it's just a different sensation you know <laughs> so yeah i mean i don't think you can ask for any more luxury in a car while you're driving it this pretty much covers everything so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the fuel economy um from our start from when we left home uh it's averaging 14.4 again uh the drive we just did was purely local with traffic and stop and go so for it to average that is i mean it's it's pretty sick again this is a v8 with two turbos just remember that when you when you're buying this right and you're not buying this for fuel economy so yeah i mean it has all the go all the macho-ness of this car again uh, i think i forgot to mention this also has some um lighting over here so as you can see that's that over there we're just really enjoying the dynamic seats and the massage seats. So that's something we haven't obviously felt. The clock is obviously analog as like, you know, just like any other luxury car. Um, yeah, going to the features of this car. I mean, night vision unfortunately won't work right now because it isn't too dark. I, I classify this as pretty dark. I mean, um, <laughs> but who, who am I, right? But again, ambient lighting and stuff like that. Pretty sick pretty sick again before you guys judge remember this is a 10 year old vehicle so 10 years ago this used to be top tier top of the line best of the best right i mean again you're not paying for a rolls royce this is a s class right so not everyone can afford a rolls royce but for what it is oof, this is a fine automobile so, so so also another thing i wanted to mention <coughs> is the automatic trunk i mean these features are pretty cool and not every car has them um so yeah i think most mercedes do i mean the e-class i'm not sure if they do but again this is an s-class i mean in terms of space you can fit a whole bunch of stuff over here Underneath, you got more um, space to store. On top, you can, I would say it's its pretty decent. It's pretty decent sized trunk. You can at least fit, I would say three luggages, three uh, mid-sized luggages. And again, that's a button to close it down. Again, like I said, the stance of this car. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty sick pretty sick car so yeah we out here in the in the wilderness i think it's about to rain we're gonna head back 
If you guys, if, I, if you guys think I missed anything, let me know. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of features. This car is loaded with tech, and um, yeah, it's really, it's really impressive to like see how the top tier automotive automotive companies build their uh, cars and stuff like that. Again, this is a completely stock vehicle. There is zero modifications done to it. Um, so yeah, overall, very fun, uh, very exclusive vehicle. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a great experience driving this. So as my closing remarks, I wanted to add, uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, this car does have the soft closing doors. Yeah, so again, for 2012, all this tech is pretty sick. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, this is a long wheelbase, so yeah overall if i were to rate my car compared to uh, rate this car compared to any other that i've driven this is by far the most luxurious car i've ever driven and hands down i would drive this every day if i had to if i had a long distance to go to work again in terms of maintenance and um fuel economy so far this car has like everything up to date Again, another thing with having driving expensive cars is like you got to maintain them as well. So as long as the owner has been good to it, has done all the required maintenances on time, these cars shouldn't have any issues um, in general. So, I mean, I mean, obviously, I haven't uh, gone underneath the car or taken a look underneath the engine and stuff like that to see if, it, if there's any leaks and whatnot. But there shouldn't be. I mean... If there was, I would have already uh, known. I would have seen a puddle underneath. We checked underneath just, just to like, we peeked underneath to see if there's any wetness and stuff like that. Haven't seen anything. So yeah, um, overall, really amazing car to drive every day. And um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool vehicle to uh, be in as well. So good for him. Uh, he picked a really, picked a really good vehicle. Um, for his daily all right hopefully if i find any other vehicle from my friends uh, if they have any other cool vehicles i will uh i'll hit you guys up i'll show it to you guys i usually like showing modified vehicles vehicles with ha which have been um, changed from the from the factory set setup uh this it hasn't been changed it has nothing's been changed on this but regardless uh it's a pretty cool vehicle just just by itself so i will i wouldn't tell him to do anything anything to change a vehicle in general just just keep driving and make sure the car is uh clean has all the uh, maintenance up to date and just uh, keep driving it 